Hi everyone, Mr. Mythos here, welcome. In this draft, I ran into an issue. I found a very powerful card, but don't know if I should include a hero just because of it. As usual, I also have trouble finding the right colored heroes. Enjoy! Alright, let's uh, hop into the next uh, draft match. I got a perfect run last round. I'm currently Dresco rating uh, 8. So, let's see if we can another, get another good uh, dra drafting deck. Okay, Lycan is actually a quite decent uh, first hero. Um, thing is, it's always difficult to, in the first pack, to already get the, the one hero. If you don't know if you want to use it yet. Um, I, th I think in this case Lycan is a good first pick because we can get a, a Ramask and the rest of this pack is not very good. So I'm, I'm fine with picking Lycan. Right. Next. Um, well, this pack is not very good. Disciple is a decent playable card. Other than that, it's not extremely good. Maybe the stone hall plate. It's actually a decent item if you manage to pick it up early. You could play the, the pit on tested ground. Both are acceptable options. Maybe the pit is fine actually. It's a rare card and picking double black here is fine. Um, Divine Intervention is a good pickup. The Red Mist Mall is can be okay if you're running a really offensive deck. Usually it goes really well with red cards. Um, I don't know if I'm going to yet, so I think Raising Shot is a acceptable uh, alternative here. It's not one of the best cards, but it's definitely playable if we uh, need some black cards at the end. Let's open the, the bench. Rebel Decoy is a decent minion. And now we can pick a Stone Hall Plate. I'm not gonna play and pick two uh, Grazing Shots, it's not that good. Uh, stone Hall Plate is a decent item. Yeah, <laughs> we'll pick another one, I guess. The Rookery, yeah. I'm not sure. Initiative might be nice, but probably not gonna play that card. And these are probably not playable either. Okay, uh, Duke. So here we have a few uh, decent cards. Mazzy is okay. It's not. Uh, it's not one of the best heroes, but it's definitely uh, definitely better than the base hero. Um, Burning Oil is okay, Oglody is quite good, uh, Cleric and Intimidation are also quite good, and even Raftal is playable. So the question is if we wanna commit two cards to green or if we wanna play a black card as well. And if you play only one green card, do we want to play the Cleric or Intimidation? That's basically the most difficult choice here. I think I will I will go and pick the minions for now. Intimidation is a, a good card. It saved uh, <laughs> it saved a few matches, to be honest. But it's also also situational. Sometimes it's quite useless, and the cleric uh, is always good and 
Same with the Glody, so I'm gonna pick the safe choices for now. Viper. Uh, it's not a great hero. It's actually, it might be worse than the base hero, so I'm not gonna pick Viper here. Cutting Plan is a playable blue card, and same with Soothsayer. Uh, so let's pick that. Untested Grunt is a bit weak, and I don't know which black hero I'm gonna run yet and if I'm gonna play uh, black a lot so ooh the wall runner <laughs> that's interesting um, I don't have a lot of playable red cards he is better than uh, this the base hero but it's not a one it's not a great red hero. The signature card can, if I only play one black, uh, sorry, one red hero, I can only play this on him, so it makes him not very good as a single uh, red hero. I'm not sure if I should play him. Hipfire is playable. Maybe Relentless Pursuit. Yeah, I just don't think he's worth it. Maybe I will still get a, a green or a black hero, so let's not pick him for now. Another Timbersaw. I think Timbersaw is comparable to the, the War Runner. Fool is okay. And we can, I guess, play an Instigator. Again, I, I barely have any red card, so I don't know why I should pick a red hero now. Let's see what hero we get. Abaddon uh, is okay, I guess. So we picked up two green heroes already. Let's get out the, the, the cards that we probably don't want to play. Maybe one grazing shot, I can't... Let's, let's remove them for now. Because we also have a Relentless Pursuit, who does, ba but does basically the same. The green cards are all decent. So we're currently, uh, we have 18 cards, uh, we're into the third pack. Uh, this is difficult, I think we'll pick a second of Glody. Minion is always good and uh, Glody is one of the, the better 4 drop minions. Definitely not picking Meepo. <laughs> the Ogre is quite good if we still want to play a, a Red Splash hero. The blue cards are also decent. We could play another rebel, but it's not one of the best uh, cards. The Stonehall Cloak is also good. I'm kind of doubting between these four cards here. If we want to play a uh, uh, maybe two green, two black, and a blue uh, hero, it might be useful to play something like Satyr or Compel. On the other hand, I don't have that amazing blue card set that I really want to commit to anything blue. So let's uh, pick the Stonehawk Cloak for now. Rix is a bad hero. Another Oglody. I think that's fine. Yeah, Remote Detonation is a, a decent blue card. Uh, can clear almost an entire board like uh, one lane that you're losing I already have quite some green cards but I don't know if I need a second cloak I think I'm, I'm gonna take the remote detonation now this is a little bit better blue card Magnus is actually a good green hero. Let's pick it up with another full. I might uh, remove Abaddon and, and put Magnus there instead. <laughs> Luna, that would actually be good. Um, yeah. Luna would have been better than Magnus probably. Yeah. 
But I didn't expect to get a, a Luna like almost at the end of the pack. Lent the zombie. Uh, maybe a musket. These are bad cards. The mage, yeah. I need a black hero actually. I mean my blue cards are not that amazing. But they're not bad either. There's a lot of good cards in, or like decent cards in this pack. Skyward Mage is okay, but it's not one of the best blue heroes. Uh, Iron Fog is always good, especially because I have Stonehawk, Stonehall items. If you get some money in the beginning, these uh, Stonehall items really start to do some work. I also like Ramask. The Satyr is also uh, quite good. Yeah, this is a difficult choice. I can play another Soothsayer, but I think... Uh, I'm not even sure if we're gonna play blue. Yeah, and the Iron Fog is just... It's always useful if you draw it. I'm just doubting between Ramask and... The Satyr, but I think Romask is better. I already have a lot of uh, creeps, so I think uh, it's good to have some buffs. <laughs> another Timber Saw. Uh, pick off is very good. And another Cloak, I think. It currently looks like we're gonna run two, uh, two black, two green and a blue hero. That's what it looks like. We have a lot of decent items. Lion is a bad hero. Um, is a playable blue card. Yeah, not gonna play that probably, but... Another Oglody. Um Yeah, and I guess we pick the Grunt. But we will remove it immediately. It's really, really a shame that we didn't get a Luna like in this pack. But the black base hero is quite, uh, quite decent. Yeah. A Viper. <laughs> we are having a lot of green heroes. We might even go three green, maybe. Let's remove Viper. Uh, what can I do that? Because if we need... Oh, Time of Triumph. <laughs> Only having Time of Triumph already... Is a reason to run one red hero, I guess. Even if it's Keef, maybe. It's collateral damage. Burning Oil is also good if I run one uh, red hero. I'm not gonna... a tree and this is decent. Uh, but it looks that I'm only gonna run two green heroes and I have Magnus and uh, Lycan. So a Slay is definitely good for black. And maybe another fighter. Could pick two slake, also could pick a, another divine intervention. Um, but we're currently missing some black cards still if you want to play two black. Uh, ogre is good. So I'm kind of switching to, to red just because of the um, time of triumph. So 31 cards, I'm, that's a little bit of a problem. In my last pack. Bloodseeker is actually... Uh, I'm not sure if it's mm, actually better than the Debbie. I 
I mean the stats are a little bit better and the ability is good but uh, the signature card is not that great. Another Bloodseeker. Let's see what we get. A Bounty Hunter, that's nice. So the question is, we're gonna remove uh, Abaddon, we're gonna put in a Debbie. The question is if we will run Red uh, Keef with a Time of Triumph or whether we will run Jamai with uh, Remote Detonation and Troll. I think Keef is fine. We want to start with Lycan because he buffs this, the creeps, so he's quite good on the on the start. Um, it's we we're, in, we're not having enough cards, so let's see if we can uh, put at least some red cards in. And this is such a bad card. Also not having a lot of green cards actually. I thought I had way more green cards. So the question is should we run three black heroes? The joke is just not very good. Yeah, we might play it if, if it's needed, but... The, the black cards are quite good. We just need to put one more uh, bad card. Let's, let's play another red card. Uh, so normally you want kind of 16, 16, 8. So we're playing a little bit less of the green cards and a little bit more black. Maybe that means that I should play Debbie as the fourth uh, hero. Increases my options to play my uh, my black cards a little bit more. It's also the, uh, very offensive. Um. And I have some good items, health items, uh, to give the black heroes a life later. I have two cloaks, two plates. Let's play two more normal cloaks. And maybe two swords. Or like a sword and a, a king fog. I think that's that's fine. Alright. Let's see if this uh, this is gonna work out. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think? Is it a good choice to run the red hero splash just for time of time? I felt like my other options were rather limited, so in this case I do like this choice. I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel, I also appreciate any feedback on the comments below. See you guys next time.